had her heart. It has had my heart. I can't speak thing like. I feel like if you overuse this, it's gonna be so thick and it's gonna look very cakey. Welcome back, my gorgeous queens. Today's video is all about concealer. My favorite concealers, what I like to use, what covers my dark circles, and what also lasts me all day without using too much powder because that's the whole point of this video. We don't want cakey stuff. We want things that are gonna work. So let's get to the video. So I'm going to start off with my tried and true. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have been using this since I started applying makeup, which was about seven, maybe eight years ago. This is when I fell in love with concealer. And ever since then, it has, has had my heart. It has had my heart. I can't speak English. But honestly, concealer is my, my baby. My little baby. I was gonna take three things away, conceal with one of them. So this shade is very light, but I'm gonna show you how it covers up my dark circles. This is the shade NC25, taking a bit on a brush, and I'm just going, like, it's very light, but it works. So, I'm gonna show you. This is without any color corrector, okay? I have no idea what's going on with my bird. She's having she's having a moment. So I have the MAC Pro Longwear on this eye. As you can see, there's no darkness. This is why I love this concealer. It just covers amazingly. It's so beautiful. It's not too thick. That's why I love it. It just does such a great job. A little bit goes such a long way. I have had this for so long. There's still heaps in there. It's just very annoying to get it out. So I like tried opening this thing, but I don't know if it opens. But anyway, there's that. This is amazing. So we have this on the left side. I'm going to use my another favorite tried and true. This is the... Wow. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Medium. So I'm going to apply a bit there. I do feel like with this, I need a little bit more to cover my darkness. Just saying. And I'm going to use this clean brush so you guys can see. I am going to put a little bit more just there. Okay, so we've got the Maybelline Instant Age Ride Rewind on this side, and then we have the MAC Pro Longwear on this side. Which side do you guys prefer? I personally love both. I do feel like this does give a bit more full coverage than this. You'll need to apply a bit more. I just didn't, didn't want to apply too much. Wow. She's having a fit. My family gets really annoyed. Anyway, so this does work really well, and I don't think it is as... I, I want to say oily, but it's not really oily. It's just, it has more shine. This doesn't have as much shine as this. As you can see, it's giving me a lot more shine than this. So, I don't know. Which one do you guys prefer? I personally love them both. Let's get into the other two that have my beautiful heart. I'm going to start off with the one that I have been really loving lately. It is the Kevin Aquan. This is in shade SX10. I just dropped the lid. I love this concealer, one, because look how much you get in it, two, it is creamy, so that's like way, way enough, like there's enough and then there's enough, so I'm going to blend this out with my ring finger, I like to use my ring finger for this one, it's just so creamy, like look, a little bit goes such a long way, see like look, I can blend my whole freaking side with this gonna blend my nose <laughs> get rid of those gorgeous blackheads that we can see and then I like rub off the excess on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go back and forth 
Like, look. This is so good. It covers your dark circles like nothing. It's so creamy. A little bit goes a long way. I feel like if you overuse this, it's going to be so thick and it's going to look very cakey. So that's why little dots, little portion, and I love how much you get. This is about $70 in Australia. I'm not sure how much in America, but Kevin Aquan, he slayed. He slayed this like... like no you can't talk to me now i have concealer on okay now this is a, this has been and probably will be my most favorite concealer ever until i have found a new one and this is the tarte mara mara Jusca. i never can pronounce this so i'm I apologize creases concealer this is in shade 10 it rubbed off i have bought like six of these i had three they went i bought another three this is almost gone so I'm really like, <laughs> I'm really, you know, using this to its advantage. Now, oh, I don't need that much. This as well, a little bit goes like that's way too much. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm going to have to use it. It's the concealer I don't like to use a lot of. So that's how much. That is way too much. That is way too much. I'm not going to use all of that. But let me, let me just show you. Let me just show you, okay? So I'm taking it on a brush. You can use your finger as well. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, okay? Not a lot. I fell in love with this concealer. I remember I actually asked a lady at Sephora, I'm like, look, what concealer do you have that you would recommend? It's good for dark circles. You know, it's hydrating, it's not too thick. You know, give me, give me some options. She's like, oh, you need to try this. And I was like, okay. I'll try it. Let me tell you why I love it so much. Let me just tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, they're kind of very similar shades now that I look at that. Might as well just get rid of these blemishes. Not me just doing the rest of my face with this concealer. So you have the Kevin Aquan, then you have the Tarte Shape Tape. Now, here's the thing. The reason I love, if I could marry a concealer, I would marry her. Because one, it is not thick. It is. It looks like it's thick. The way it comes out, it is not thick. It covers up dark circles like nothing. Like Comparing the two, this covers pretty much everything actually. This, I feel like it just makes it look so seamless. Like it doesn't even look like a lot. But now that I'm comparing the two, I feel like this is much thicker than this. You can just, I feel like, tell that that's thicker than this. Give me your opinion. Which do you like the most? I am now fluctuated between the both because lately I have been using more of this one, the, the Kevin Aquan, and I'm like, oh, I really like you. Can it compare to this? I'm not sure. I really am not sure. The thing about this concealer... If you don't set it, it will stay like this. I have sometimes forgot to set my concealer. Yes, I know it's a big what the hell, but I have forgotten and I promise you it didn't even crease. And I was like, oh, you weren't, you weren't lying when you said creaseless. You, you weren't lying. You really did lie. This one, I feel like you need to set it. I, I feel like when you don't set it, even if it's a little bit, it does go a bit more creasier. I think it's because the, the formulation is a bit thicker. Whereas this one, the formulation is so like, it looks thick, but it's not. It just glides on. It's so lightweight. It covers up. The only thing is, I don't think there's a lot of shade ranges. Maybe they've changed it. I will let you know in the comments below. But, guys, if I was going to get any concealers ever, I would get these two. One of these. Probably this one. But if you want something a bit thicker that covers your lines as well, like the hollowness, I feel like that does a really good job. This, I feel like, just looks so natural, like... I actually can't get over looking at myself. I don't know. I don't know which one I like more. But, oh, I always get right under my nose. So let me know which are your favorites. These are just my top four absolute favorites that I use every single other. Like, whenever I wear makeup, I use one of those four. There are amazing, la la, there are amazing other concealers that I use. But when I just want one product that's just going to cover my dark circles and I can get out the door or wear this all over my face, this is what I gravitate towards. So I highly recommend it. And let me know if you've tried any. Let me know what color, not what color. Let me know what 
type of under eye issue you have is it just you just want concealer do you have darkness do you have hollowness i have both do you have a lot of fine lines i have that too it's just it's just a little mixture of stuff so let me know in the comments what you have let me know which we, which one you like more everything will be listed down below and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye